Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel and the Leeds United Daily and we're going to be talking today because obviously today is a big day for us Leeds United content creators, Leeds United fans in general and Leeds United as a whole because it's transfer deadline day and there is so much going on now I mean the amount of videos that I'm seeing already the amount of videos that's going to be out there is going to be a massive because I mean I'm uploading three videos today I was going to upload four but I didn't want to wait over overload so, as you can tell by today's title, Leeds United are in talks of selling one player and then obviously bringing in another player too. But before we do get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for the support on the live stream that I did with uh, Leeds Ultras. It was, uh, it was a good experience. I was a little bit nervous at the start, but it was it was my first time. I'm, I'm just learning. I'm still learning how to, to, to progress in, in, in doing things a lot better, a lot more smoothly. I've only been doing it for about four months now, so people who constantly uh, interact with the channel who help towards grow anyway. But if you are new around here, make sure you uh, like, comment, and subscribe. It does help grow the channel. We're getting closer and closer to 1.1K subs. So there will be another giveaway at 1.5K and then a bigger uh, version at uh, 2K. So as you can tell by today's title, we're going to talk about the outings at the mo uh, first of all, and that is Jack Harrison. And we all know Jack Harrison has been linked and Leicester made a bit i think last week um about 20 million pounds and it's, it's a decent offer don't get me wrong but i feel like we need to bump up that uh, price a little bit because i mean uh Radrizani didn't want to really sell him for anything less than 30 million pounds so anything between 27 I'd, I'd say and 30 million i feel like jack harrison will be will be leaving the door um aston villa now are also in the in in talks of uh, signing the 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 the, the, the lead united winger i mean Personally, I wouldn't really sell him to Leicester because obviously we are relegation relegation rivals at this present stage. So I feel like it would be, in a sense, poor business. But at the same time, if we are going to be selling Jack Harrison, there has to be another player coming in, another senior player or someone who is better developed than any other like winger we have at the club. I know we've got the likes of Somerville, we've got the likes of Sinistera and Nonsell and stuff like that. But at the same time, if we was to sell Jack Harrison, we don't really have that depth, you know, because... We've got Sinistera, we've got Nonso, but then it's like, who's our main man? Who are we going to look up to if the, the, the players who are on the field not going to perform? So, Jack Harrison is a very wanted man. I know I've done a couple of videos beforehand, and I've done um, why Leeds United, and I personally think that Leeds United should sell him anyway. So, Aston Villa now in the running. I don't know how much they're willing to pay for him, but I know Leicester City now have bumped up the price, I think about just shy of £25 million. So, we've got to keep an eye on that one. It's, it's, there's 24 hours until the, uh, the deadline day is over. And hopefully we can figure out what's going to be happening with the club. I know there's been a lot of outings as well. There's been a lot of coming in. And this transfer window has been absolutely fantastic. But on to the, the transfer. That will be in a different type of video. And as you know, there is one player in question who's been linked with a couple, couple, uh, couple of weeks now. And that is Nicola Zaniola. Zaniola? That's how you say it. And there's, there's been a lot of videos regarding Zaniola. But at the same time, I just wanted to do a different type of video just to explain what's going on with him. The transfer saga and why he wants to leave the club. So it all started when he had a bust up with Jose Mourinho. And they, they didn't really get on. I think it's something uh, towards his, like, his attitude and stuff like that. And he didn't really want to play under Jose Mourinho anymore. He wanted to force himself out of the club. And I feel like, to me, if Leeds United are going to buy a player like that, we need to like uh, discipline him, get him uh, on the right path. And I mean, we can sell him the project of Leeds United, you know. I mean, we've managed to do it with Rutter, we managed to do it with Voba and now McKenney. So if we can do it the same with uh, uh, Zaniolo, that would be honestly fantastic. But we need to sell Jack Harrington and be able to bring in Zaniolo anyways. It will be a loan to buy, I know. It, there was speculation of that uh, they wanted around about 30 to th uh, 35 million euros to secure the, the, the signature of Zaniolo. But then uh, they the turned that down. Bournemouth had gone out and um, matched the asking price. But then Zaniolo rejected that and the board accepted that. And then apparently the Roma Ultras or something went around to his house. There was a lot of like backlash. He was getting a lot of hate. They got um, went around to his house, threatened his family, smashed up a few things, and it was very toxic around him right now. So there's a huge, huge um, uh, news breaking news thing going around about Zaniolo. Um, in a sense, trying to force himself away from the club, but he's not going to be able to go if the board are not going to accept it. And to me, I feel like it's ridiculous how Leeds United's bid got turned down. I know it was a loan to uh, loan to buy obligation, so obviously that means if we don't really want him, we have the the, the right to say no. So I, I personally believe that if we was to go for a loan, they would personally want a loan to buy to get rid of the player. But at the same time, Leeds United bid 
got rejected but Zaniolo had agreed that he wouldn't mind joining Leeds United so there's a lot going on right now he he will I reckon he will become a Leeds United player maybe not this year but I reckon maybe in the summer I could be wrong I could be wrong Vitor Orta and Radizani or the 49ers will uh, either pay full up cash or they'll do a loan to buy option and it's all up in the air now and I mean he is a good player um, it can help push on towards going towards the, the Europa League, the pre Europa Conference League next season. And I don't know, it's 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 a bit of a tricky situation for him right now. And and and, and this is the only update that we have so far. So uh, I'll, if I can, I'll try to keep you updated. If not, then the other boys, uh, the other content creators, will be able to keep you informed anyway. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. Jack Harrison could be leaving, and that could also bring in Zaniolo in the last couple of hours. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you later. Peace.